John Lovitz, on his recent uh, podcast called ABCs of SNL, decided to talk about uh, the Obama administration and how Barack Obama has said that the wealthy do not pay enough in taxes. Now, John Lovitz is upset about this, and he talks about it with uh, uh, great aggression, I guess you could say. He's very harsh. Let's listen. This whole thing with Obama saying the rich don't pay their taxes is fucking bullshit. And I voted for the guy and I'm a Democrat. What a fucking asshole. The rich don't pay their taxes. Let me tell you something, right? First they say to your dead broke, the United States of America, you can do anything you want. Go for it. So then you go for it and then you make it and everyone's like, fuck you. If, if I make a dollar and out of every dollar I'm taxed at 50, half of 50 cents I have to give. Isn't that like enough? Yes. So for every dollar you make, two dollars you have to give a dollar back. That, no, that's not right. That's, no, you're not paying enough. Uh, all right. So first of all, um, it's part of comedy, so I'm going to do a part. Like, hey, you shouldn't say that about the president. I know, but he's doing comedy. I think it's a, a different ball game. Do I agree with his criticism? No, not at all. Right. You know that, right? Um, how much does he actually believe it? I think he believes it. Yeah, definitely. I, know. I mean, I know. look, it's, it's, co it's comedy, but that didn't really sound like comedy to me. That wasn't really funny. Where were the jokes, right? <laughs> no, but yeah. there were like no jokes there. That hey. was his political rant. Let's keep it real. Hey. It, go ahead. Hey, joke man, tell me a joke, okay? <laughs> if you're such a joker and a jokester. All right, now I hear you on that, but nonetheless, he's trying to be funny. I'm gonna give him wide berth, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, failed miserably. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, Anna apparently not giving him a pardon at all, okay? Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, John Lovitz probably doesn't do the deductions that Mitt Romney does, right? Mitt Romney is down at 13.9% because he's hiding some money. This was actually after he brought his money back from the Swiss bank accounts. God knows how low it was when he added it there. But he's still got some money in the Cayman Islands, Bermuda. He's doing every loophole you can imagine, and he's whittling it down. GE is paying zero taxes. They're getting $3 billion back. So even if you were to grant to John Lovitz, hey, you know what, 35%. Okay, maybe that's a significant tax rate. I'm not sure I would grant, I know I wouldn't grant that. But even if he granted that to him, he's got to understand that part of the reason people are mad is not because you're paying 35% and when you add state, local, da da da, you're up to 50. It's because that other people in the top 1% aren't even paying that. So, and you know, so a lot of us, if you make above $36,000, you got to pay about 25% for every extra dollar. Why is Mitt Romney, who has a quarter of a billion dollars, paying less than the average guy who makes $36,000? That's what people are mad about. Yeah, right? and it's a huge misunderstanding for John Lovitz, right? Because he's listening to what Barack Obama is saying about how the rich don't pay enough in taxes, and he automatically assumes, well, he's talking about me. I'm wealthy, and I'm paying a ton of money in taxes, right? But no, he's not talking about you. you got you got to look into the details a little more. He's talking about the people who uh, get taxed at 15% with capital gains, right? right. That's, that's the real issue. Right, so and, and by the way, and then when you get to the core issue of is 35% enough, Apparently it's not. We're running huge deficits. So if John Levitt says to me, hey, I want to keep paying 35%, but I don't want any more wars, I say, okay, we should have that conversation. But if he wants all the wars and he wants all the defense spending and he wants all that, well, then you probably got to pay 39% or more, right? Keep it real. There was another section of that right after he talked about the getting taxed at 50% that um, showed also a lot of times where people's, where people's thought process comes through with this. It's because he said everybody has the same... Uh, uh, shot at deductions that everyone else does. He goes, right. you know, you I, say you got that, right? So let's listen to that real quick. And then they go, well, all the rich people have all these deductions. Well, everyone in this room has the same deductions. You just didn't know, learn about it. But you have the exact same deductions. You can deduct, you can, did you drive a car? Do you take it to work? Deduct it. Hey, hey, Do you eat hey. at lunch? Deduct it. Yeah, no, he lost me there. Right, that's the thing. And it, it shows. So there's the thing. He, he says you didn't learn. I don't know who does John Lovett's taxes. Maybe he does himself, and he actually did learn about everything with taxes. But as we all know, rich people don't do their own taxes. They have someone do them for them. They do all these things that they don't know how it would have been done before. And that's where you get those things. So if someone had the opportunity or the money to pay someone to give them all these extra ins and outs and tricks and things here and there to get them $1,000 when they made 20 you know, then maybe. But that's just the thing. You need money to save money. Right, and so, look, let me give you a couple of examples. First of, first of all, as I mentioned, Mitt Romney had accounts in the Cayman Islands. That's a loophole so that he can uh, deduct, not pay his full share of taxes. 
Does everybody have a shot at having an account in the Cayman Islands? <laughs> Not to my knowledge. I mean, who's making $45,000 and got an account in the Cayman Islands? Unless you live in the Cayman Islands. Okay, so that's not true at all. Second of all, your home mortgage deduction, by the way, could be larger if you have a much larger home. So, you know, that's another way that it helps being rich. There's a million ways that it helps in deducting taxes if you're rich. So, in the end, again, he's doing comedy. I don't really care. It's not, I don't think it's a serious political you know, statement of the world that I got to take. To yeah, who yeah. cares? He calls him a name. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's Whatever, fine. It's right? fine because who cares what John Lovitz has to say? That's why it's fine. I like know. it has no impact whatsoever. Right now, having said that, his he comes off as sounding bitter for no reason when obviously he has a lot of money, right? And he's largely wrong on the facts. Mm -hmm. So like. Hey, and, and John, look, I get it. You worked hard and you made a lot of money. Good. That's what we all want to do, right? All we're asking is you stop crying about it, right? And so that somebody else can have the same opportunity. I mean, that's why I always talk about opportunity, um, whether it's to get an education, whatever else, so that everybody can live the American dream.